So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to play the harmonic minor scale in a very simple seven note pattern that moves across two strings. Then I'm going to show you how to connect three of those patterns to make a big pattern that blazes right across the neck from bottom string to top. Then I'm going to show you another way of connecting three of those patterns to get from the bottom string to the top string and to fly around the thing. And, and none of those difficult big stretches that you often associate with the harmonic minor scale. Let's get to it. So the first thing to look at is the pattern itself. We're going to work in the key of A minor or A harmonic minor. And we're going to work on the first two strings just to start and to show you the pattern. It goes like this, look. So we're going to start on the fifth fret on the first string with the note A. That's our root of the scale. We've got an A, then two frets higher. We have the second degree, the B, and the C one more fret higher. So we've got the fifth fret, the seventh fret, and the eighth fret. First three notes of our scale. Then we slide our first finger down one fret to the fourth fret. And that's the major seventh. So we've got root, second, flat third, or five, seven, eight, and we've got four as well. So four notes on that string. Then we move to the next string across. We're going to go to the second string. And on the second string, we have the sixth fret with our little finger. We have the fifth fret and the third fret. So you've got three notes on that string on frets three, five, and six. Then we move across to the first string, four, five, seven, eight. There's our pattern. That is the basic pattern. All we have to do to transpose that into different octaves is know where the root is or where the A is in the case in the key that we're playing in, and we repeat the same shape in different places. Watch. So there's the A we've talked about already. If I go to that A there on the fourth string, seventh fret, I can play exactly the same shape. Watch. That's the same as that. So there we go. Then I move down to there. And I've got exactly the same shape. I can do it uh, up here. There's an A, third string, 14th fret. Exactly the same shape. So when you've got these same shapes and you move them around and start putting them in different places, you can run from the bottom of the neck to the top or the top to the bottom. We're going to start here and we're going to play this version of it. So four notes on that string, then three notes on that string. Then because we've got a root there, we've got also got an A there, an octave lower. We can do the same shape there. Then we can do the same one there, starting on that A. So, putting it together, we've got... Next pattern. Next one. right away from there down to there and that takes us across the whole neck. In the intro sequence you saw me play it down from here and then back up again from there. So to play it in the lower position we start with that A there on the seventh fret fourth string. Play the pattern that we know very very well. Then we've got an A there on the sixth string, fifth fret. Well, we've run out of strings now, but we can play that part of it. So we've got there, all the way down to there, okay? We can carry on upwards from there, 
except when we get to here, we've got to watch out because we've got a slightly different shape because the third and the fourth, sorry, the second and the third strings are only a third apart. So when we play from here and go down, we've got to move slightly further that way to there, but then we're back into the same pattern. So from here, got the whole pattern again. So quickly recap, you've got that very simple pattern. You can link it from the roots from there, there and there. You can also link it from those roots there, there and there. Just watch out for that little shift on the second and third strings. Once you get those strings down, you will fly around this thing. It's a great little pattern. I hope you find it useful. If you do, don't forget, hit the like, subscribe, and ding the bell. You know the routine. And we'll see you in the next video. And by the way, if you follow the links below, you can get to my books on picking, or on sequences, and on anything else that comes along in the meantime after this video goes up. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Cheers!